and after a sleepless and most deadly the worst night of their lives, Holly's parents made an appearance on the news and her mother Maria made a desperate plea for her daughter's safety. But shortly after her parents appeared on the news, police received a report of body parts that had been found washed up on the shore of Ward's Island across the Toronto Harbor. A resident of Ward's Island was walking his dog along the shore of Lake Ontario that morning when he saw a black duffel bag floating in the water. He opened it and saw body parts inside, which were later identified to be those of Holly Jones. Holly's autopsy also turned up some very important evidence, and that was the killer's DNA, which was extracted from underneath her fingernails. So the police had to find a match for this DNA, and it was going to be like finding a needle in a haystack. But they came up with a very controversial plan of asking every male within a six block radius of Holly's home for a voluntary DNA sample. 